Hello everyone, welcome you back. Now today we're going to talk about regarding the React Suspense and how it's actually working with the Next.js. Now here if you go to the Next.js documentation in the loading UI and streaming, you're gonna have a very good overview regarding how actually it works. Now for me, I'm gonna show you what it actually means. Now this is my single product. So if I click on that, it will take me to that particular single product page. And now whenever that product page is rendering, it's rendering pretty fast. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a loading instances from the network tab. I will just take that from the throttling, I will take the slow 3G. So now what is gonna happen if I click any of my image and as you see, it's coming here and empty and this image loading time is just giving a blink of time because that image is loading in server side as you see it's happening without that react suspense so now even any of that if it's already generated in server side it's looking good but if it's for the first time and that time it will just render pretty much in a very bad way so if the your image is getting a high pixel that time it will be a very it will not be much effective is ran, uh, by rendering in that way but if we are using that react suspense that time it will be more fast and it will give a loading instances which can actually generate a very good effective things as you see it's giving a loading instances until your product is loading as you see so it will just give a timing conclusion for you to your product generate that one and create that loading instances and today i'm going to show you how actually you can generate that react suspense in your application so in my project here this is the image i'm rendering without the suspense and if i go back to any of the images from there if it will just do the same thing which i show you earlier it will just give you a blank images uh, like display until the image is loading but now what we're gonna do we're gonna create that suspense portion and before creating the suspense what i actually would like to do is to create a, another component here called load image so let's go back here in my component i'll take a new file which will be load image dot tsx or fce and then it will give me a react functional component now first thing first instead of that image which i will no longer use here i will just render that my load image component and from here i will pass my image so that i can get that image and use that one so let's use that as image source and that image source i will just take the image which actually i'm rendering here so let's go back in my load image component now here I need to get that image which will be img source the name which i have been provided you can keep any name as you like and also that img source i need to define that is schema uh, is a type which going to be string now here what i will do i will create is as an assign function okay and as i'm doing it as a function so now here i actually can make it as another portion over here so instead of returning that i will randomize that one so the random it will be i will just make that mat dot flow now here if you are connecting any of the database you can actually get the loading instances and use that one but as i'm using the data from the api so it will loading faster way from the service it rendering so i will just create a random function by which i can actually get my uh like the formula by which actually it will just generate me in that way so oops uh i think okay uh mat.floor and here i will just make that mat.random i'll generate the random number and that number it's going to be like five into five five and also it will be a hundred okay let's see i missed put another five here okay and also there need to be one 
okay so now i have my random number and now i will await for that and that await it will just generate a promise so it will be new promise uh, new promise and here in the promise i need to i need to resolve also that one so it will be resolve oops uh, oh my bad it will be resolve and that resolve it will be any because i don't want to keep that type formulation here and it will be a function and here i'm going to define that set timeout and that timeout is going to be uh, from the resolve and also it will just get with that random instances which actually i have been created okay now i have that portion here so what i will do remember i comment out this portion so this image portion i will just copy from here and then in that return portion i will just pass that image and instead of that also i need to import that image from our next image okay and in that source i need to just pass that the image source which i have been declared so if i click that right now i as you see there would be an image as you see the image is actually coming here but still my suspense i'm not adding added here so the suspense portion it will still not work so how actually i can uh, create the suspense to work uh, in my application to initialize the suspense let's go back to my page here so as you see i'm taking my load image here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna wrap my image with the suspense instances and of course don't forget to import that one here from the react otherwise it will not work so now i have my load image so now there it will be taking another uh component an another layer of that callback function which is going to be a fallback so now in the fallback i can actually declare what i want to show for right now what i will do i will just generate a simple div okay that simple div which going to have a ptech and that ptech going to just say um loading dot 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 that's it and also i will just make a little bit design so it will be look much uh, nicer so class name width going to be full and height it will be full and bj let's give a block and the opacity 80 percent uh, flex item center justify center and for the loading instances for the p tag put a class name and text going to be two axle okay and font going to be medium text going to be white and tracking uh, just put a little bit wider okay and animate it will be pulse okay so now my suspense is ready so what actually it gonna do if i go back and come back with any of the image as you see for a simple instances you can actually see it's loading it's not like giving a blank page on your image it's actually giving a very bad effect once you are de uh, developing in a development portion and a production portion so it's always easy to use the suspense to show some instances and I'm actually referring you to read uh, more about that loading instances and this portion with the streaming and loading UI. You will have a better understanding actually how those things work. So for me, actually in that way, I solved that puzzle because whenever now I am going any of the pages, I actually can generate the pages for uh, within the suspense. And even though here also I can do the same things if I load and the uh, data is uh, getting a little bit of delay from the api i can show the suspense i can show any of the masses so the people can know it's the data is coming it's not broke or it will just need to be wait for a bit so i think that can really help you to use that in your application so we'll see you in next video